Hi and welcome to this section where we are going to look at central differences. Now, the central difference operator, which we are going to denote with um, delta here, for a given function f of x at the point xi, okay, is defined as delta f of xi, okay, uh, to be f of xi plus h over 2 minus f of xi minus h over 2. Okay, I'll just put here a very simple illustration. Okay, so we'll mark three points here. One will be at the point xi, this is at the point xi plus h, and this is xi minus h. Then we mark middle points here and here, which will be xi plus h over 2. If this is h over 2, h over 2, h over 2, h over 2, and this is h. Okay. So, um, Oh, what did I say? Okay, okay, okay. I, I really don't need to write this. Let me, instead of crowding so many things here, let us just say this is going to be at the point. Since we already know, we have already seen this from the previous video, so I can as well just say this is H, I mean H, um, XI minus H over 2. Okay? So that means that we stand here. And then we get the value here, the value of the function here, minus the value of the function at this point. It will give us the central difference operator, the first central difference operator of the function f of x at the point xi. Okay. So now, um, well, we are going to denote y, the y one half to be the value of the function f evaluated at x naught plus h over 2 okay let us assume that uh, this was x naught and perhaps this is x1 and this is x2 so we are saying that the value y a half is going to be the one which is denoted at this point here this is x naught plus h over 2 of course we know that at this point it will be x1 plus h over 2 x1 okay plus h over 2 okay so uh, okay we denote y one half so the value of y one half is the value of y which is evaluated at this point here x naught plus h over 2 so by definition we see that uh, the first central difference of y one half is going to be given by x of h over 2 plus h over 2 minus f of x naught plus h over 2 minus h over 2 which is going to be f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught okay by definition uh, okay we can say that this is y1 minus y0 by definition we know that this is the first forward difference okay evaluated at y0 or we can also evaluate this to be the first backward difference evaluated at y1 okay so we can try to illustrate these concepts here by having a diagram okay for the central differences so uh, a diagram for the central differences let's have this okay we have our column for x then we have our column for the y then the first 
central difference the second central difference and we shall stop on the third central difference okay uh, so we have our values of x then we have our values of y which is equals to f of x then we have the first central difference the second central difference and we shall have the third central difference so if this is um, x naught we can have our x1 let us have x2 and let us have x3 okay so this is uh, y naught which we know is f of f evaluated at x naught this is y1 which is f evaluated at x1 this is y2 which is f evaluated at x2 and this is y3 which is f evaluated at x3 then we said here the first i mean yeah the first central difference evaluated at y one half the point midway between y naught and the point which is midway okay uh, y naught and y1 please note that okay this is y1 half so we evaluated at that it at that point and what did we get we got this one here okay it is just the value here y1 minus y naught so similarly if we follow the same procedure if we simply evaluate this one here y the point midway between one and uh, i mean y1 and y2 which is um, 3 over 2 that is 1 1 half not so it's simply going to be equal to y2 minus y1 similarly we shall evaluate this point midway y2 and y3 which is two and a half which is five over two and it will simply be y3 minus y2 and in a similar fashion okay then in here we shall evaluate the second central difference at y1 the point midway between y1 half and y3 over 2 is y1 and it is simply going to be given by this minus that okay so it is the first central difference evaluated at y3 over 2 minus the first central difference evaluated at yes at, at that point there at uh, x equals to one half okay the point which is midway zero and one so if you want to substitute of course you know that you can substitute for these values in here okay where you have this okay you just insert that and where you have this you just insert that so no prizes for guessing that this can be written as y2 minus y1 minus y1 plus y naught which is simply y2 minus 2y1 plus y naught i hope this is familiar to you by now so if we can uh, complete this okay no prizes for guessing that this one here is going to be evaluated at 2 the point with midway a 3 over 2 and a 5 over 2 and it is going to be the first central difference of y evaluated at a point at that point minus the first central difference of uh, evaluated at that corresponding point okay and then here of course if you are to go any further this will be the third um the third central difference which will be evaluated at uh, three over two the point now midway between one and two okay and it will simply be the second uh central difference evaluated at y2 minus uh, the second central difference evaluated at y1 so um all we need to do is to have uh you know these points here 
and then we compute their corresponding values and then just get to know how these points here the points where you're evaluating the central difference and then the rest of it is just a matter of substitutions because we have all of these it's just substitutions okay so yeah you can go through the notes and if there is anything that is not so clear with this you can always put in the comment section thank you and see you in the next video